Hi, so today I'm going to show you what you should be looking for when you're Googling an image to draw from. So go to Google Images, of course, and in here, um, just think about the different ideas that you can draw from. So going to the reference photo submission, um, some subject matter ideas could be flowers, leaves, fruits, vegetables, stones or rocks, crystals, geodes, kind of think of natural things. You could do like a succulent. Um, whatever you want to do, though, we want to make sure it is zoomed in so that we're focused mostly on the subject area um, and not what's going on in the background. Because if there's a lot of background details, it's going to get confusing, which is why we want to zoom in. So in Google, you know, type in whatever you're thinking. If you have a favorite type of flower, um, you could look that up. One of my favorite um, flowers is a dahlia. And you can look at different images. So something that you'd want to stay away from is something like this, right? Where there's just a bunch of flowers kind of zoomed very far out. Um, something you'd want to be looking into is like this image where it's nice and close up. Um, again, we don't want a bunch of different uh, flowers or whatever your subject matter is. We want it more zoomed in so that we can see what the subject is mostly focusing on. This one's okay. It has some background detail, but it's mostly zoomed in, which is fine. Again, try to stick to one subject, not a ton, okay? So that would be my flower, I think. So you guys know how to save images. Click on the image, right click, save image as. I like to save things to my desktop. Um, flower reference photo. And then I'm pressing save, okay? So I have my picture. Um, let's say you wanted to look up leaves, right? Or let's say a leaf, because we only want one, right? Same idea, we want to be zoomed in and focused on it. Um, a lot of these have a white background, which is fine. Um, but eventually you might want to think about zooming in so you can really focus on the detail of the leaves. Okay, so maybe not two. Um, these are monstera leaves. These are really pretty. Um, but you could do something like this, right, where it, there is two, but it's mostly zoomed in. Again, not a lot of background detail. Okay. Um, you guys can also, I believe, crop your photos just by clicking on the picture when it's downloaded. And you may have some editing tools right here, like I have a crop tool. Um, and we know how to crop from Photoshop. You could also do this straight from your phone and upload it to Schoology that way as well. Um, if you were looking for a crystal or a geode, maybe like amethyst is a good one. And you can see these nice and close up already because since it's a smaller object, it's just naturally zoomed in when you look for pictures of it. Um, so these would be really cool to paint. Um, Again, stay away from multiple. Okay, so you guys get the gist. But when you go to upload to Schoology, um, you don't have to do an artist statement. Uh, maybe you could just say what it is that you are going to be painting. Um, I was in between going through like a succulent. So there's one of my images. Um, but I think I might go with a dahlia. So I would open that. Um, you do have to write something. I won't let you just post it. It tells you that you have to write a comment. So I'm going to say, I am going to paint post right and then you have your image to paint from um you can choose to send this to a follow me printer and print it out so that you have it in color when referencing to draw um, or you can just look at it from your laptop that's totally up to you whatever you think would be easier just know that our paintings are going to be 10 by 10 inches so these are not going to be printed to size for us to trace or transfer over so just note that we're looking at these for reference. 